Oh, perfect song for a night of roasting s'mores. Oh, don't do that one. It looks like I'm over laughing. Don't look. Hey. I don't know if you know. You weren't filming that one. I was filming that. That was a video. Oh, no, that is not allowed anywhere. I would be on YouTube. Okay, so just got home yesterday uh, after doing two weeks on the boat and uh, it is time to trim slash mow the yard. Uh, because we have a seasonal site, we're expected to take care of our own yard here. Um, even though we're not staying here the whole season, we just uh, try to find seasonal sites for the five or six months we stay somewhere to get uh, better, you know, cheaper rates. But along with that, I guess, comes in some places having to do your own maintenance on the grounds. So obviously I'm not going to travel with a lawnmower, so I had to go out and get a weed whacker. Um, it's kind of something I was thinking about getting anyways, not too sure, you know, if I ever needed to kind of trim some areas up. Um, we had one in our storage unit in Charleston, but um, we just haven't made it down that way. So I went out and got a little uh, 18 volt uh, Ryobi uh, weed eater trimmer and I went ahead and came with the uh, blower, which is something I wanted to get, you know, just blowing off the roof of the camper and doing the mats out here and everything else. But anyways, I'll show you where I keep those. Oh, getting a little uh, earthquake here. Uh, we must be doing laundry so you can see everything shaking. Spin cycle. But anyways, we're gonna knock this out and then I'll kind of show you where I stored and uh, what I got to do it. All right. Let's get it done. Both of these are super lightweight. I keep them attached to this wall right here. Just like most people, I put some hinges on the wall and a little lock. That way I can swing it open, have access to my water panel and uh, anything else inside of there. So that always works out pretty good. Okay, all packed up and ready to roll out to Oma and Opa's house. Here we go. Okay, after about a well, I guess a 13 hour drive or so. We finally made it here to Blue Ridge, Georgia, uh, up in the mountains. Let's go see what uh, they got cooking for dinner. Okay, chow's looking good. I could not get my soup and 
taking the corn for nothing. Open up the corn. <laughs> it looks tasty. It does. Mickey's wondering where his plate's at down there. If he's smart, he'll go underneath. All right. Ooh. Get himself some good stuff. Looks tasty. Well, as you can see, I got the drone back, or should I say my dad's drone, that he kind of gave to me. Too bad I didn't get any footage of that. It involves me standing on an eight-foot ladder with about, I'd say, 40 foot of pole above my head. But I got it, and, uh, well, I'm still practicing here, and as you can tell, eh, I still need some more practice, it looks like. Here we are in the beautiful mountain town of Helen, Georgia. Neat little place, about an hour away from Blue Ridge. The uh, whole town is done up to look like an alpine village from Germany. Uh, we've been here before, we always enjoy coming back. Great food, uh, great location, and just has a lot of fun stuff to do. Neat little shops, and always some good German beers too. You cooling off? That margarita, babe. Hey, you ready to try the Alpine roller coaster, bub? Yeah. Yeah? Who are you gonna ride with? That. You. Me? Okay. Fun stuff? Fun, 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 fun. I think it's a little overpriced for it though. What's that? I think it's a little overpriced for it. Yeah, I thought online it said $10. So we just did the Helen Alpine roller coaster. A little expensive, about $16 for adults, $6 for kids. Actually went a little faster than we thought. We had a good time, but 
maybe a little overpriced for the length of the ride, but that's what you're going to get in a tourist town, I suppose. Anyways, I guess I'd recommend it if you came here to Helen. It's fun stuff. Okay, we just made it up to Franklin, North Carolina to spend some good time with our friends and our goddaughters. Let's uh, go on inside and see if anybody's home. I'm not uh, cooking, so. Corbin, you got some new friends? <laughs> okay, show them how it's done. You gotta take several because you never know they're gonna, <laughs> nobody's looking at the same time. Gold City Gym and Mine in North Carolina. Let's see what we can find for the kiddos in here. See if they can get a, hit the jackpot, get us some gold. Rocks, huh? Washing the rocks. Hold on, I'm gonna do this. Here you go, sweetie. Put it in the bucket. Come get a prize. You want to come get one? Can I see those? So I. Look. Hold on. You're gonna get one of these. Put get one of these out. Give me a small one. Give me an animal. All right, baby. What you want to do? You can get one, sweetie. Get an Easter egg. Yeah. Get an Easter egg. Easter egg. Corbin, what'd you get? You want the pink one? Yeah. She's all pretty yellow. yellowish color. Not yellow. You got some good ones. As long as you had some fun too, that's all that matters. Yeah. You had that smoky shit. Oh. Yeah. If you had the time and 
especially the money. These white quartzes, all of these. In North Carolina, this is what 70, 80% of the gold in North Carolina is trapped in. <laughs> there could be little nuggets of gold in this. We would never know it unless one day you decided to crush them up one day. Can you believe that, Courtney? Well, yeah, I think that. Yeah, you could crush them. Sometimes the gold is dust, though, and you can barely even see it. Sometimes it's hard to see. That's why they crush it into a powder. And then they send it through mercury I mean, and nickel. Like, um, these are back in my parents house here in blue ridge we had a great time up in north carolina just a few days left in our trip down here i think we're gonna go tubing tomorrow so that should be a good time and until then i think i'm just gonna spend some time trying to get this drone down but uh as you can still tell i need some more practice Got us on video. Here we are. Got everybody tubing down the, uh, what river is this? The Tacoa. Tacoa. Until you get to town, then it's the Ocoee. The okay, that's why I wasn't sure. I thought it might have been the Ocoee. Yeah. All right. Having fun. That house ain't up on Chilton, I'm sure. Okay. For timing. Oh, you might have to run in and grab him. I wish I had a paddle, I can help. We got the, a little eddy here, Fred. I don't know if I'll drop under when I step out. <laughs> Hold on. Stay on if you can. I'm, we're in now. I can see this. Pull her in. Yeah. She's got a film. We're in. Yeah, you're good. Good Eddie, come right in. Oh, I butted. I got it. That was really good timing. Were you just kind of estimating? I just parked back over here and walked over and I heard voices. I figured it might be you. All you did was drive to another place to hear? No. Oh, I was like, oh my God. I took a little detour and went in a store. Corbin, how was it? He was having fun, right? Fun. He didn't want to get out. <laughs> that was fun. Oh. He was having a good time. He's like, well, we got to get out of the I know. I was well, surprised. I'm like, there's a house up. already. Under the tree, under the get tree out. or else it'd be a oh. I come right around. Hey, how was it? Fine. Was anything yeah, scary? Was it? Uh, was anything scary, Corbin? No. Oh, nothing scary. No what? rapids. It was fun. Just going fast, but. <laughs> we had a good time. He was jumping around in the tube. And... All right. We were hanging on each other. Good times. It was fun. I'm glad I went. Last day here before we head back tomorrow. I think everybody's just kind of relaxing and chilling out before uh, we hit the road. Probably do some s'mores tonight. Kind of touch it, see if it's hot yet. More, yeah, get it hot.
Well, as you can see, vacation's over. We are bringing in a big one today. She's about 1,200 feet. And I'd say one of the more unique colors that we uh, get on the ships that we bring in out here. Oh, okay, well, what a trip that was. Uh, good times. So as you can obviously see, I'm back at work, back on the boat. Our trip to Blue Ridge was amazing. We really love that area. I think eventually we're talking about buying some land and somewhere in the North Georgia area, kind of making a home base for us to, you know, always park the, the camper when we're done on trips or whatnot. It's close to my family, but again, amazing trip. We had an awesome time back to work. So what's on tap for next time? Uh, when I go home, Megan's parents will actually be coming to visit us. So we'll get to see all the grandparents uh, one last time before pretty much gone for a year out west. We head to Rockport, Texas here in October. That's where we spend most of our winters. Well, I guess I shouldn't say most winters since we've only been doing this full-time RVing for getting close to a year and a half now. It's where we spent our first winter, but we liked it a lot, so we plan on going back there. So what can you guys expect to see from us next? Well, when Megan's parents come up here, we have plans to um, do Gettysburg, uh, what else, Lancaster, maybe Hershey. So I'll get some good footage for that. I got to sell my car. Gonna be sad to see the Challenger go. I've had it for about 12 years and gonna miss that, but it will be our first time to travel together as a family when we're towing in one vehicle. So that'll be kind of nice. And I think we'll be looking forward to that out West. So anyways, guys, keep on watching, hit like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.